and the focus of the program within the process is detailed process of production from the idea to final result under the brand made in Kazakhstan. The program shows us an amazing world of projects, technologies and industrial developments. Reading a book is always a great pleasure. First, you spend a long time picking out a book that would be the most interesting. Every person has a different approach. Some read reviews and recommendations, others search for a book the title of which is appealing, and some simply rely on the cover. And once the choice is made, all that awaits is a warm cup of tea, a comfy chair, and an interesting book. Is this not one of the most pleasant small joys of life? Books are considered to be a cultural heritage of humanity. However, it is also something that is made, made out of paper with a text print. We decided to find out about all the technological intricacies of the book production process and are ready to share this with you. Hello, you're watching the program process in which we tell you in detail about how it works. Today, our cameras are focused on the book production process. The starting point of the book production process is the composing department. Here the pre-press processes take place. Specialists here are accepting the manuscripts of future books. Texts written by hand are typed up, corrected and edited. Then the electronic version of the manuscript is set for typesetting. With the use of a special design program, the manuscript is arranged along the pages and illustrations and page numbers are added. Once the manuscript is typeset, the pages of the book are arranged in the right order. Afterwards, with the use of CTP, or computer-to-plate imaging technology, the typeset pages are transmitted to a plate with a photosensitive surface. This process has two stages. First, the arrangement of the pages is exposed onto a plate, and then the image on this photosensitive plate is developed. After this, one can see the pages of the future book on the plate form. Then, with the use of an eyelet puncher, holes are made which are necessary for setting up the forms into the printing press. If the book has colorful illustrations, then for its printing, four form plates are required in accordance with the number of colors used in the illustration. Parts of the illustration are applied onto the paper, one by one, until the colorful illustration is complete on the page. Now we move on to the paper department, where the basic material of books is prepared. The necessary quantity of paper is unrolled and the pages are cut in accordance with the format of the future book for which the paper is intended. The page leaves from this department and are then moved to the printing press. Before printing, all the pages are cut along the sides in order to reach the set size. Once the pages are ready, they are sent to the printing press machine. The form is set and fixated on one of the drums on the printing machine. The printing press department has machines that print in color. They have four color stations. And if there is a need to make a monochrome image, then the two-color press is used. Each color station is supplied with a specific color. Before printing, it is necessary to adjust and regulate the tone of the color. Only then can the printing begin. The image of the form, which is fixated on the drum, is first moved to the rubber surface of the offset drum and then transmitted onto the paper. During this process, the person supervising periodically checks the quality of the printed pages. It is necessary to check that the colors are in accordance with the requirements set in the technological description map, as well as check the presence of all the markings. The final printed pages are cut up and then sent for folding, a process which entails the careful folding of the pages, keeping intact the number arrangement of the pages. It is a bit hard to believe that after folding, this huge sheet of paper with different pages, which are arranged in a seemingly random order, is turned into a folded booklet. In the printing press, it is called a notebook.
After the folding stage, the snow book is sent off to the binding department. Here, with the use of a sheet collating machine, the pages are gathered in the right order, just as they would be numbered in the book. At this printing press, the sheet collating machine gathers up to 24 notebooks in one go. Persons operating the machine allocate the notebook piles in accordance with the page numbers. The machine unites it all by taking one page from each station and puts out the ready page blocks of future books. For the making of soft cover books, or brochures, right after collation with the use of special machine, the folds of each notebook are cut off and a layer of thermal glue is applied to the cover as well. Or it is saddle stitched and then bound with a wire. Here it is, the final book. You can already list through the pages. But this is not all that the printing press can do. The hardcover books are not ready yet. Let's take a look in the department where the hardcovers are made. For the making of a hardcover book, the so-called lids need to be prepared first. In order to make a lid, what is necessary are already prepared cardboard forms, the sizes of which are determined by the format of the future book, a strip for the hollow back of the book, as well as a printed cover or vinyl paper binding material. The cover pages are sent to a machine where glue is applied to their surface, and then the cardboard sides and the hollow back strip are attached. If the design of the cover entails embossment, then the lid cover, after the gluing procedure, is sent to the press. Here, by means of pressure and temperature adjustment, printing foil is applied. Then, the ready lids are sent off to the binding department. In the binding department, the collated page blocks are sewn together on a thread stitching machine. After this, the page blocks are sent to a conveyor belt for processing. This is the final straight. In a couple of minutes, we will see the brand new books. The processing of the page block entails three stages. During the first stage, the blocks are pressed. Then there is the conveyor belt stage, where glue is applied to the backs of the book. Here we can see a roller which on one side is dipped into a container with glue. And with the rotation there is a constant supply of a layer of glue to this roller. The rotating roller, upon contact with the back of the book, applies a layer of glue to it. After the gluing stage, the page blocks are moved to the drying station. Here, by means of infrared radiation, under a temperature of 50 to 70 degrees Celsius, the glue dries up, becoming solid. Next is the cutting stage. A conveyor belt is equipped with special knives that cut the page blocks along three sides in order to remove grooves on the edges. The final destination in the binding department? The binding station. The book blocks after the processing and attachment of cover lids are loaded on to a casing machine. Here a gauze-like cotton fabric is glued onto the back of the book and along the edges a headband. Glue is also applied to both sides of the book block and then the lid, or cover, is put in place. The final product comes out of the casing machine. After the final inspection, the next destination of these books is a bookstore or a library. Well, that's about it. The books are in my hands, brand new. <sighs> Oh, the smell of a new book. And even though I know that this is the smell of the printing press paint and glue, the sense of magic delight is still present. As you hold this book in your hands, you know that new literary experiences are ahead. You are watching the program process, in which we tell you in detail about how it works and thereby shift your perspective on things that surround us in our daily lives. My name is Nazar Mohamedjan. Until next time.